Waynesville, North Carolina looks like a lot of American small towns. Right down to this Saturday morning scene at the Roper House on Chestnut Park Lane. Actually, there's something very special going on here. This is Dee Roper and his son, Stevie. Stevie was born nine years ago with a very rare physical condition. Lacking sweat glands, his body has no natural way to cool itself. Until recently, too much physical activity or even limited activity on hot days could have been tragic for him. But thanks to the concerned efforts of a diverse group of people, Stevie now has a way to beat the heat, a liquid-cooled outfit based on NASA technology. This small pump and heat exchanger cools and recycles fluid through a vest and hat, a system similar to that used in astronaut spacesuits. Stevie can wear the outfit while exercising if it's convenient or simply put it on intermittently to cool down. It's made a tremendous difference in his life and came about because of Stevie's aunt, Tootsie Moody. One day last summer, her daughter had Stevie in the car when he began to suffer from the heat. She pulled over to the side of the road, saw a lady that was watering her garden, took the water hose out of the lady's hand, squirted his body down, cooled his temperature down, got him home, called me and said, Mom, I've never been so scared in all my life. Well, right then is when I decided that something needed to be done. Stevie's aunt called NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia, and was put in touch with John Samos and Thayer Sheets in the Technology Utilization Office. They recalled an article in a NASA spin-off publication about liquid-cooled garments being used by firefighters, pilots, and race car drivers. Thanks to the cooperation of the company making the outfits and a fundraising effort by a restaurant chain and Norfolk nightclub owner, Stevie got his suit. It's meant newfound freedom and peace of mind, not only for him, but for his whole family. Casey, come on to dinner. Stevie's performance in Sue Smart's fourth grade class at Central Elementary has also improved. Before the cool suit, he was constantly getting drinks or applying cold towels. This made it difficult for him to concentrate and get his assignments done. Now, if he gets too hot, he simply dons the suit and continues working. But probably the most significant factor is that he's in school more often because the suit has reduced his susceptibility to respiratory ailments like bronchitis or pneumonia. As a result, his grades are coming up and uh, he is definitely doing better. The effort with Stevie has been so successful that his aunt is now heading a national foundation. Its goal is to do the same for the other 400 children in this country with Stevie's condition. Bring space technology down to Earth.